Good day, Baseball Card Collecting Nation. This is Chris from Big 3 PC, and today I will be ripping into a hobby box of 2016 Topps Update. As always, you can reach me on YouTube, Insta, Twitter, Facebook, and you can always reach me by email. As I mentioned in my Topps Update Decade in Review video uh, just a little while ago, Topps Update has done extremely well this decade as an investment. This release, however, the 2016 version, was the lone exception. I was able to pick up a handful of these hobby boxes for just $74 shipped each, which is well below their initial release price. Now, there's a reason why they're cheap. There's not a single large market star or any perennial MVP or Cy Young Award candidate in this rookie card checklist, at least not yet, uh, and that is a major limiting factor in terms of the value of this set. With that said though, there is some hope for this checklist, and I think that makes its price point an intriguing one for me as both a collector and as an investor. So let's quickly explore the rookie cards of note in the checklist. To me, the first four names there have a chance to make this set matter over the next two or three years. There's a couple of interesting players behind the first, the big four, but let's go through the big four first. So Trevor Story, 26 year old, six war shortstop, who's posted an OPS over 900 in three of his four seasons in the big leagues, which is spectacular for a middle infielder. With that kind of production uh, and playing his, half his games in Coors Field, he has a clear Hall of Fame path if he remains healthy and productive for another 8 to 10 years. He is somewhat limited by playing on a small market team and also on a non-contending team in the same division as the Dodgers, who look like they're never going to lose the division again. But as mentioned, the thin air up in Denver is going to help him maintain the offensive production needed to march towards Cooperstown. Cooperstown. So Trevor Story is a very interesting and important player in this set. Lucas Giolito, uh, a guy who not a lot of, was thought of maybe coming into the year. His prospect status had really faded coming into 2019, but he was an all-star this year. Just 24 years old, posted a 5.6 war breakout season. He put up an insane 11.6 Ks per nine, an ERA plus of 134. This was a huge breakout for Giolito. He is a player who has serious Cy Young Award potential going forward. He also plays on an exciting young team in a super weak division. So when you put all that together, I'm really bullish on Giolito and his potential to be a frontline ace with lots of playoff opportunities ahead of him. That would be good for card valuations. Okay, Mike Clevenger. <clears throat> He's a bit older, surprisingly. He had his rookie card in 2016. He is 29 years old now. But his career ERA plus is 141, which is just excellent. With that kind of a mark, he is an annual Cy Young Award candidate, and he's likely going to find his way onto a bigger market in the next few years. The Indians look like they're retooling. Uh, Clevenger's not that far away from free agency, so he could be next. If he stays healthy and productive and he finds himself on a contender, his cards could get very interesting over the next couple of years. Finally, rounding out what I would deem to be the big four on this set, Julio Urias. Now, he is a guy who seems to me like very comparable to Giolito a year ago. Uh, Giolito was 23, had been a top prospect, the shine had come off. This is Julio Urias to a T. Was the Dodgers' top pitching prospect, was definitely the heir apparent to Clayton Kershaw, and he was young when this was all happening, like 20, 21. A shoulder injury robbed him of 2018, and he came back this year and very quietly pitched very well out of the bullpen while also making eight starts. This guy's still got all of his nasty stuff. He throws in the mid-90s when he's starting. He throws in the high 90s when he's coming out of the pen. He has good complimentary pitches to go with that stuff. He's as overlooked as they come right now for an elite talent. And unfortunately, he will be on an innings, li innings limit in 2000 uh, for sure. Maybe like 140, 150 total would be his range. But by 2021, he's probably going to be good to go. And that'll just be his age 24 season. So this is a guy who could be starring as a number one or two in the Dodger, uh, for the Dodgers, get into that postseason every year, posting insane win totals with them at a young age. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely excited about Julio Urias. Now, the last three guys, Snell, Anderson, and, and Jameis Italian, uh, interesting players, accomplished players, but not guys the industry is going to really be too in love with. Snell won a Cy Young, absolutely, but his other three years as a professional, he's basically been average. Um, so not a lot of excitement there, especially playing in Tampa Bay. Tim Anderson, 26-year-old who just led the league in hitting, which is kind of cool. And if it was 1985, he'd probably be on the cover of Sports Illustrated or uh, the box of Wheaties for doing that. 
the thing is, is it's not 2000, it's not 1985, it's 2019. Tomorrow will be 2020. And we know that a guy who walks 15 times in a year is not that valuable of a player. And that's what he did last year. He hit 335 and only walked 15 times. So he did still manage to put up four war. He did still manage to put up an 865 OPS as a shortstop and an OPS plus of 129. These are good numbers. But if he doesn't walk, that I mean, he, he there's no way he's going to maintain the average he needs to maintain in order to keep an OPS and OPS plus in an all-star level. Um, also, he's not a big home run guy, 18 to 20 a year over the last three years. So he's not a guy the hobby's really going to be in love with. But he's a name, an interesting name to throw out there. And then Jameson Talion, a 28-year-old who uh, is Canadian, so shout out to him. Uh, was a huge prospect. Uh, he just he's had a lot of injuries, and you know at 28 now he's only got 7.9 WAR and only threw 37 innings last year because uh, of injury again. Um, now he's had some great ER, ERA pluses when he's healthy, uh, 2016 and 2018, uh, and he's a guy who who knows. We just saw Garrett Cole, you know, leave the Pirates around this age and find his stuff and light the world on fire. Um, but I'm just not you know you can't count on it with him. So those are the rookies uh, we're looking for in this set. Going to hope to get one of all of them, but really going to hope to find a parallel of one of those top four guys. Uh, and speaking of parallels, well, what are the parallels or what were the parallels in 2016? Uh, tops update. Uh, one we're not going to see, the purple parallel. They were only in Toys R Us packs. So you know, Tops is interesting. Sometimes Target gets a special parallel. Sometimes Walmart. Every year it seems to be something different. Sometimes nobody. In 2016 Tops Update, it was purple. Purple parallel for Toys R Us only. We will not see those. What we will see is probably uh, three or four rainbow foils. Uh, we will hopefully see uh, three or four golds, uh, which interestingly in the hobby, it looks like they're more prevalent than, in, than the rainbow foils are. We'd love to see a black to 65, which are only in hobby and jumbo products. And it looks like we got about a 50% chance of getting the hobby, uh, sorry, a black in this one with the one in 36, sorry, 67 pack odds. There's 36 packs in this hobby box. Uh, pink's pretty rare, one in every 254 hobby packs. And then you get the one of ones printing plates, silver frames, which I can't say we, no chance because I've actually got one of those before in one of these videos of a player who's now I think in the minors or been released. But nevertheless, they're out there even for regular Joes like you and me. Special prints, they do exist in the 2016 Tops Update uh, release. Now, interestingly, uh, the short prints are a 25 card set just with the rookies. And I'm not really sure if I'm reading the pack odds correctly on the back of the box. They're saying one in 6,000 hobby packs, you're gonna get one of those. But the super short prints, which is a 25 card veteran set, you're gonna get one of those every 50 hobby packs. Um, I, I wonder if they're saying that you got a one in 6,000 pack chance of getting uh, one specific one of the specific rookie cards because short prints are usually a lot more common than that. But we'll find out. Hopefully I can spot it if we get one. All right, let's get into it. Now this is gonna take a bit of time because there's 36 packs here which only have 10 cards in each. And I'm not like the world's greatest pack opener. So I will try to move, but bear with me here. So a bunch of rookie debuts. Oh, Melvin Upton. Goodness gracious. That guy. Oh, there's a gold right off the hop. You got a gold Buster Posey. Good condition. Uh, that's an all-star game card. Okay. I'll get that sleeved up. I do like me some Buster Posey. That's not going to be worth much, but... Add that to the Buster Posey collection. <clears throat> and we should also find a relic, likely a relic, potentially an auto in here somewhere. That looks like a rainbow foil. Adam Duval. Definitely not an exciting rainbow foil. Yeah. So, get a couple of parallels going right away.
34 packs to go. Maybe this, this will just be a parallel box. Full of parallels, who knows. Aaron Hill in a Red Sox uniform. I barely remember that. I haven't seen any of the uh, rookies yet that we're looking for. Pack number four. Is that another gold? That's another gold. Uh, I don't know that player. Doubt he's in the league anymore. Well, that's a bummer. Okay. I do like the rate that we're finding golds, though. One in seven packs. I mean, that would be a gold every 70 cards. Which is a pretty darn good rate. Here's Julio Urias' rookie card. Oops. So, not in amazing shape. I'll just be building a set. The corner down here isn't amazing. I mean, this is these. He's not worth grading at this point, anyways. It would require a, a big leap forward um, in order for him to be worth grading. We're really hoping to just score a parallel. Of him, but yeah, that is uh, that is a rough, rough corner there. Hopefully, we get another rookie hit. Something looks a little bit better than that. Uh, finish this pack up. We got a Blake Snell rookie debut. Ichiro. So that must be a insert there. People love Ichiro cards. I never have a hard time selling each row cards. I like the rookie debuts in this set. And the big silver lettering. Jake Gillenhall. Really? I guess that's an insert, yeah. Okay. Another insert there, a fire insert. Michael Conforto, those look cool. Nomar Mazzara, rookie card. I didn't really mention him. Pretty one-dimensional type guy. I mean, he's a big prospect when he came out. He just hasn't done much of anything, and I think he's already on another team now. Lucas Giolito, rookie debut. There's my guy. Trevor Story, that would be rookie debut. And this is a good pack. They're in good. They're in good shape here. Oh, Craig Biggio, three thousand hit club. Insert. Aaron Sanchez. Wow, guy made the All Star game. Hard to believe. Hard to believe now. Some sort of a insert there, Hunter Pence. No idea what this is. Some giveaway from Tops. Ooh, 50 cents off. That has long expired. Okay, these rookie debuts over here. 
I think that's the first nine packs. It means we're a quarter of the way there. And really all we have to show for it is a bent Julio Urias rookie card. <laughs> Sweet. What do we got here? And a gold? The gold, Jose Lobaton. Yuck. Three golds already. Corey Kluber. Corey Seeger. I'm surprised that has a rookie card. Uh, not that he's really any good, but I'm surprised that has a rookie card label on it. Certainly not his rookie year, or not his rookie card set anyways. Could be his rookie year, I don't really know. There's a Corey Seager insert. There's a Trevor Story rookie. Cool. That is in really nice shape. Yep. Excellent shape. So, get that sleeved, get that into a top loader. Sit on it. It's gradable for sure. I don't think his graded rookies are selling, his PSA 10s are selling for any more than like 30, 35 Canadian. So, you know, is it worth spending 18 to get it graded at this point? I mean, that's a big risk if it comes back a nine. So I don't really think that that's a huge win. There's Blake Snell. So I'll just keep that, uh, just keep that for now. Know that it's gradable and just hang on to it. And if he continues down this path, I'm gonna grade it in the future. Blake Snell, yeah, not in the greatest shape there with this rookie. Um, I'm gonna throw that over with Julio Urias. That'll be for the set. Tim Linscombe with the Angels. He's just it's so hard to remember this stuff. Miguel Cabrera insert. So there should be three more golds, a couple more rainbow foils. Rookie debut for Julio Urias. That one's in better shape than his rookie card. For sure. Three thousand hit club, Paul Molitor. Key debut. Okay. Pretty unlikely that I'm going to spot a short print in all of this madness. I, uh, I really am. I'm really only able to spot them. I think reliably. If it's a rookie card that I know what it looks like, or um, if it's like just a totally random, you know, retired Hall of Famer that they've thrown in there instead. I've seen that a few times. You know, when I pull a Burt Blevin out of a set, or Blaylevin, or whatever his name is, <clears throat> I know something's up. Yeah, Albert Almora. I didn't actually mention Albert Almora. Um, he was a big prospect. He's just not really panned out in any big way. You know, maybe he'll be a late bloomer. You know, sleeve him up. It's in good condition, his rookie card there. But he's not really been that great. Another Ichiro insert. Okay, almost at the halfway point here.
Yeah, I didn't mention uh, Aldemi's Diaz either, partly because I don't really know much about him. I'll sleeve that up, but he's got a rookie card in this set as well. I mean, I don't think he's a, a stud. Got Tyler White. Is that a gold? Ah, oh, man. Well, got a rookie card. Got a rookie card that's gold, but Tiger Wright. Tyler White, I should say. I mean, I don't even know who that guy is. And he's an Astro. If I don't know who he is and he's an Astro, that is not a good sign. Jameis Italian rookie debut. And there goes that stuff. How's that one looking? Yeah, it's good. All right. Rookie debut. Oh, Jamie's Diaz. Over there you go. Aaron Nola, rookie debut. Okay. He does not have his actual rookie card in this set. I know that for sure. There's, Star there's a Starling Marte rainbow foil. Very nice player. Um, but, you know, rainbow foils. Rainbow foils are very nice players. Not really that important. There's another insert. Rainbow Foils are very nice veteran players. Not really that important, I should say. Michael Saunders. Yeah, you were an all-star, weren't you? On year. Jojo Fletcher. Okay. That's got to be another one of those inserts. Like the Jake Gyllenhaal one. Okay, well, I think that we are halfway home here. Let's sleeve up these rookie debuts. Aaron Nola. And this random Corey Seager rookie card. That isn't really his rookie card. Michael Fulmer, rookie debut. That card's looking black. It is. Austin Jackson. Well, good to get a black. Weren't, getting, weren't guaranteed to get a black. But it's Austin Jackson. So not great. Not great. No offense, Austin Jackson. And if that could have just been one of those rookies. That's what we're here for, folks. Popping a numbered parallel of one of those rookies. That's what we're here for. Craig Sager, my goodness. What a strange insert idea. Put a bunch of these... Uh, Celebs on there. <clears throat> Ooh, Eddie. Eddie just signed with the White Sox. It's a sad day, any day, Eddie signs somewhere other than Toronto. That's a pretty cool card of Ty Cobb. I guess we still haven't had a relic yet, although this pack almost feels like it might have one in it. Maybe we'll get an auto, and we'll get a Trevor Story rookie auto. Ken Griffey Jr., fire. Nope, and that was not the relic pack. Apparently, some people can tell my feeling. Maybe it's a thickness thing. I'm not really sure. Kirby Yates. That looks gold. Kirby Yates. 
Okay. Bunch of not very exciting parallels, but I do like the parallel rate. I, mean, I gotta give it that. The parallel rate is good. Got a black, got a, hand, a couple of rainbow foils, and I'm looking at, I think, five golds already. At least five golds. And that's, is that rainbow foil ish? It is, Jay Bruce. Yep. Tons of parallels. One thing we're lacking though, distinctly lacking, is rookie cards for Lucas Giolito, Mike Clevenger, a decent condition Julio Urias. I haven't seen Tim Anderson, I haven't seen Jameson Talion. So we need to get that going. Eddie, Eddie insert, oh, Louis Severino rookie debut, Corey Seager rookie debut, and a Mike Trout. Trevor Story rookie debut on the back of this one. G Man Choi. I don't know who Aubrey Plaza is. JD. And there's a Trevor Story. It's actually not a rookie card, it's just a random little story there about Trevor Story. Mo hits most home runs in first 13 career games since 1900. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay. There's James Italian's rookie card. Miguel Sano rookie debut. Another Ichiro insert. All right, Jameson, how's the condition here, brother? Yeah, it's reasonable. Edge looks like it's been... Uh, Shoot on a little bit, but you're not certainly not worth grading at this point, anyways. Who knows, though, brother? Root for our fellow Canadians. Lou Brock insert. Julius Chassin. We are getting down to the wire. The last maybe 25% of the packs here. Rediscover tops. We are rediscovering tops as we speak. And it's not going so great. Boo. Joe, be a genie. Oof. Ah, I shouldn't boo him, but my goodness. It's been a rough couple of years here in Toronto. Seven packs left. Going to be a relic or an auto. Maybe another gold. There's Lucas Giolito's rookie. And it's in good shape. Yep. Okay. Good. Let's just get that Mike Clevenger out of the way. You know. Second top loader there. It's a good sign. 3,000th hit. Stan Musial. Okay.
Boy, there's a lot of Ichiro inserts. I wonder if, uh, I mean, it doesn't seem possible that one could miss an auto card or a relic. But maybe I did. Or maybe it's right there. A Miguel Cabrera to 50 something. And there we go. Miguel Cabrera. Some sort of a worn workout jersey from the All Star game. That's to 50. Okay. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world. I don't love relics, but if they're numbered, I'm okay with it. And if it's numbered and of a great player, I'm actually okay with it. Relics are rarely in perfect shape. But this one looks okay. Probably, it's pretty thin actually. I wonder if I can just sleeve it up here with a big sleeve. But anyways, okay. So there's our relic. Another Aaron Nola rookie debut. Cal Ripken Jr. Three packs left. Let's see us a nice gold rookie. One more. There's the non-black version of Austin Jackson. There's Tim Anderson's rookie. Put that aside. And pretty nice condition, I would say. Not that we're going to be grading a guy who walks 15 times in a full season, anyways, but we miss him. Clevenger. That might be it. Clevenger might be the only rookie we're missing. I can't expect to get them all from on hobby, but there he is. Okay, that's good. Love the hair, dude. Yeah, condition's not great. You know, it's fine, but it's not gradable. That's okay. Add them to the set. All right, there's our gold, probably our last gold, Alexei Ramirez. Boo earns on the golds, I tell you, but I love how many there are. That's, that's pretty exciting. I'll probably end up ripping one more of these just so I complete my set. And if I know that I'm looking at getting the combination of 10 or 11 numbered cards, uh, sorry, uh, parallels total, out of a $70 box with some big rookies in it. Look, there's a fourth rainbow foil. Then that'll be exciting. Kirby Yates, a couple of parallels of you. Isn't that fantastic? So Kirby Yates, rainbow foil, Jay Bruce, rainbow foil, Starling Marte, rainbow foil, Adam Duvall, rainbow foil. Four rainbow foils. Tyler White, gold. Alexei Ramirez, gold. Kirby Yates, gold. Jose Lobaton, gold. Matt something or other, gold. Buster Posey, gold. So, one, two, three, four, five, six golds. Plus a black, Austin Jackson. So, 11 parallels. None worth anything, but a good rate. We got the Miguel Cabrera to 50 All-Star Game patch, a relic, I should say, of a jersey. And then really, the best thing that came out of this box was uh, a, what appears to be a gem mint condition Trevor Story rookie card. And also a very nice looking Lucas Giolito rookie card. Uh, and, you know, the better part of a set. Okay, so that's it. Um, overall, meh. 
you know, as, as expected. You get 11 parallels, you're only really looking for four cards in a 300 card set. So, you know, even with 11, you're still not have very good odds that you're gonna find one, which is why you're always better just to go buy the card you want. We've talked about it a million times, but ripping's fun. And this is a series that I, I love, and this one is cheap, so I thought I'd rip into one, and I'll rip into another one to get the set. Um, but until then, uh, thank you for watching and uh, allowing me to help you build uh, a PC for your big three. Thank you.